When a ball player is one of the best to ever play the game, he's an all-time great. When an all-time great changes the way we play the game, he's transcendent. And when a transcendent ball player calls New York home, he's tied to that city forever. He inspires generations to follow in his footsteps. Many greats have represented this city over the years, but only one has had an identity so unique he was known as the Say Hey Kid. Willie Mays perfected the craft of baseball. Everyone wanted to be Willie Mays, especially the kids who played stickball in the streets with him. When the Giants moved in 58, hearts were broken, but that wasn't the end of Willie Mays' New York story. In 1962, a new tradition was born in New York, and nearly 10 years later, the city was reunited with the Say Hey Kid. Mays worked that magic in his Mets debut, slugging a game-winning home. Thank you, Willie Mays, for helping write the story of our game. For helping write the story of our city. For helping write the story of our Mets. Fans, 50 years ago, the original owner of the Mets, Mrs. Joan Payson, fulfilled a promise that she made to herself by bringing the great Willie Mays back to New York from the Giants so that he could conclude his career with the Mets. Now, although Willie was a Met for just two years, he helped them win the 1973 National League pennant. In fact, he had a key hit in the pennant-clinching fifth game of the League Championship Series against the Cincinnati Reds and the final hit of his career broke a tie in the 12th inning of Game 2 of the World Series in Oakland, helping the Mets win the game and even the series. Willie Mays, like the Mets, began his Major League Baseball journey in New York at the famous Polo Grounds in Upper Manhattan. The connection to National League Baseball in this town runs deep. It runs through Willie and courses through the veins of Mets fans. Upon bringing Willie back to New York, Mrs. Payson promised him that shortly after his career ended, the Mets would retire his number 24. Well, sadly, Mrs. Payson died before she could make good on her promise. And all these years later, it has remained unfulfilled until today. The New York Mets are proud to announce that in accordance with Mrs. Payson's wishes and at the urging of his former Mets teammates in recognition of his contributions to the Mets, as well as baseball in New York and the country at large, Willie Mays, 24, will take its place in the left field corner here at City Field with the other greats in Mets history. From this day forth, no Met will ever wear Willie Mays' iconic number 24. In his honor, please welcome his son, Michael, representing the Mays family and joining Willie's teammates on the field for this very special moment.
while Willie could not be here today, he is home watching this all unfold. And he sent along a thank you message that I will read for you now. And Willie, thank you for the honor of allowing me to convey your thoughts. Hey, it's Willie here. I've been asked to say a few words, which usually isn't very hard for me. This time, though, I got stuck. How can I only say a few words about something so important to me? I sat down and thought about how it was playing for the Mets back in the 70s. You might lose a lot of details after so many years, but what I can never forget is the way it felt to be back in New York City playing for the Mets fans. Mets fans are loyal. Mets fans are passionate. Mets fans are loud. They let you know right now how they feel. Well, let me share how I feel today. The Mets retiring my number, number 24. Man, that's the best. And how do I feel? Like I've hit a game-winning homer. As I prepared what I wanted to say to you, I thought about all of the folks at Shea Stadium who helped me. And then I thought about all of the new friends that I've made at City Field. And since I've got to keep this short, let me mention an important few. I want to thank Mrs. Joan Payson. I want to thank my Mets teammates. I want to thank Stephen Cohen. Most of all, I want to thank all of you Mets fans. Mets fans always gave me the biggest ovations and the loudest thank yous ever. Today, I return those thank yous from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Mets. Well, thank you very much. This has already become one of the most memorable days in the history of the New York Mets. We continue to celebrate 60 years of New York Mets baseball with an old-timers game. It's coming up in just a couple of moments. Thank you.